Hi, my name is Mike. I make music as domestic scene, and today I'm going to be building a Turing machine by Music Thing Modular. And I don't really just want to make another Turing machine video to put out on the internet. There's already a ton of them there, and I'm sure you know whatever you need to know about the module. Um, but uh, I am going to build it, so let's get that project started, and then I'm going to talk about an issue I had. Uh, with this build where, uh, since I ordered all the parts myself, I made a small mistake in my order and had to come up with a solution. So let's get to it. Right, so here's the thing, since I didn't buy this as a kit, um, I had to order all my own parts, uh, made a big order, so I kind of had to go through everything that I had, pull together the stuff that I needed to build this, and uh, right towards the end of getting it all together, I realized that uh, instead of a 47K resistor, I had bought a, uh, a 47 ohm resistor so that's what i bought it's 47 ohms and what i needed was 47 kilo ohms and so my first thought was that maybe i could substitute another one of these in for the 47 kilo ohm resistor that i needed and this is a, a 51 kilo ohm resistor and i thought maybe they're close enough maybe it won't matter and that might be true I'm not sure. I'm not smart enough uh, to, to be able to diagnose it, and I didn't wait to ask somebody about it. So I really had to do some research and do some problem solving. And the interesting thing that I learned is that uh, what you can do is uh, run two uh, higher impedance resistors in parallel and come up with a value really close to what you need. So if you were to take these two 100K resistors and send a signal going in one through it, hitting the next one going through that, that resistance would stack up and this would become 200 kilo ohms of resistance. But if you run them in parallel, uh, they actually divide down into a lower resistance value. So in order to get the 47 kilo, kilo ohms that I needed, um, I went through all of the 100K resistors that I had uh, and measured them and found the two out of those 100 that had the lowest, uh, the lowest resistance value. So they deviated the furthest on the low end of the scale from 100K. So each of these two, these two particular 100K resistors are each actually 99 point something um, and so they're on the low end of the scale and if I run those in parallel so a signal hits it and then is able to run through both of those at the same time and back out the other side um, it's it's essentially uh, equaling up to and I measured it and it equals around 48.5 kilo ohms and I think that's pretty damn close to the 47k that I need and um, definitely better than 51 so uh, this is this is a cool thing to know about I'll put a link in the description to this video of the uh, paper that I read that talks about how you can do the math on this and honestly the math was not something I felt like messing around with it's just it took a little bit of time to understand the idea of it and then i used my uh, multimeter and just tested and trial and error and found two resistors that equaled really close to the 47k that i need so i'm going to end up putting those together on the board we'll see how it goes um but that's something worth knowing um so check the description go check out that that uh, paper and 
try to get your head around that because you're going to run into situations where you don't have the part that you need. And if you can figure out a way around that, then uh, you can keep going and not need to wait to put in another order and spend more money and more shipping and all of that. So I'm glad that I took the time and let's build this touring machine. All right, so we're going to start with this PCB and um, the 47K resistor goes in spot R6, which is right here. And so before I start trying to put in all of the rest of these resistors, I'm going to do the hardest part, which is to figure out how to, how to fit these two resistors onto this board in parallel. I kind of doubt that I can stick both of the legs into that hole, which is true. So I can only get one of them in there. So I think that before I even do that, I should bend one of these. like that <clears throat> and solder it to the other resistor. It's hard to hold it so you can see what I'm going to try to do. But yeah, I'm going to try to just stack one on top of the other. Uh, one of the resistor's legs are bent in 90 degrees into a U shape and I'm going to solder that onto the pin of, or to the legs of the other resistor and then try bending the other legs down to uh, put through the PCB holes. Okay, so let's give this a shot. All right, I think that did it. Okay, so you can see what I did here was uh, solder, like I said, uh, this, this resistor right onto the legs of the other resistor. So um, theoretically, I can just snip those off and then fold these ones down, and then I'll have the two resistance paths uh, for the electricity to flow through, giving me really close to the 47K that I need. So, let's do that. Right, so there's my custom parallel resistor. Um, and then, it's going to have a bit of a wide uh, stance because normally when you fold a resistor's legs, you're folding pretty close to the edge of this um, pill-shaped area, uh, but this is just that little bit of distance is going to make a difference when it comes to fitting that into the hole. So it's not going to look super elegant, but I think it'll do the job. So into R6. Yeah, so there we go. It's kind of like this little ladder of resistors. Uh, I think I have enough uh, vertical room um, because I'm going to have, I can tell by looking at the PCB board, there's an IC that's going to go in there. So there's going to be a socket and then an IC on top of it, which I imagine will be at least that tall. And right next to that's just another resistor, which is also going to be low profile. Um, so I don't think this is going to get in the way of anything. Uh, if it ends up getting in the way later on, uh, we'll deal with it. Uh, but for the time being, I'm going to call this good, if not the most uh, beautiful, uh, if not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. I think it'll work.
All right. Okay, so now, <laughs> now let's do the rest of this.